Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Daisy K's Primitives. Today we're going to work on my table centerpiece. I uh, set this up for spring and Easter, and I'm ready to change things out. I'm not quite ready to put out my patriotic and uh, 4th of July decor yet. So I'm kind of going to maybe transition that way, but not go full blown. So I wanted to show you how I had it set prior, and then I will show you the elements that I'm going to use next, and then we'll put it together. So I went digging in my stash, and I found some things that I think I want to use, and I'll just go through them individually. I have some pip berries to just add texture and a little bit of color. This is a strand of dried blueberries. A little um, wool applique pen keep. This is a reproduction trencher. It's made out of resin. These are candle wick cutters. These are some blackened wax candles wrapped in stained cheesecloth. I have this old wood pulp pitcher and it has some greens in it and some florals. A flickering flame candle. Over here I have a couple of textile uh, runners and then the candlesticks from the prior gathering. So those are the pieces that I've gathered to, that I think I'm going to use. And so next I'll clear this off and then I'll start layering in the pieces. All right, now we're going to start putting this together. I like to use different kinds, different colors and designs of textiles to lay, lay down as a base, kind of a foundation for all kinds of gatherings. So I chose this reddish, reddish brownish looking one because I think it will transition into my patriotic decor. So I chose that, that may change, we'll see. Everything is subject to change. <laughs> That's just kind of the way I decorate. And then I'm gonna lay in the trencher. And to add a little bit of interest, I don't think right now I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna place it straight on the runner. I'm just gonna kind of angle it because I'm thinking we'll put other pieces on either end around it. So there's the trencher, that's the centerpiece. The next, I wanna use the flickering flame candle. These are so cool. They're battery operated. And they just kinda of give you a, a look of a flame. So cool. So I think I'll place that right there. I don't want this to be too symmetrical. So I'm going to offset that. Then the next piece, large thing that I think I will place in the trencher will be the blackened candles with the cheesecloth. And I'll kind of fluff that up a little bit. I've had these things forever. So I think I'll lay those right. Uh, let's lay them this way. Okay. So next I wanna put in the wick trimmers. These are really cool. They sometimes are candle snuffers, but this one is I think they could be both, a trimmer and a, a snuffer. I found those at an antique shop a long time ago. So I will place those right there by the candles. 
All right. Now the next thing I think I want to add in will be some greenery. So I'm going to have to go find some. I will pull from my stash and whatever's around the house. So that's the next step to be back. Okay, I found, I pulled the pieces of um, greenery, which is called pepper grass. I've gotten these in different clumps or even in um, swags. This has been cut apart, but these are picks. And that's just a sprig from a leftover somewhere. So I'm gonna place these in next. I like adding greenery to most everything. I may go a little overboard with it, but I just feel like it brings things to life. So I'm gonna place a chunk of it in here, a pick by the candle. And then because this is in the dining room and we could potentially see this gathering from the back side, I wanna add in some on that side. So I think I will place another piece of this, another pick right in there and kind of over overlay it a little bit onto the candles okay so I'm liking that now I think we need a little bit more interest and I think I will use the pip berries they have a little bit more color these also have little star shapes on them. So that can maybe transition into my patriotic decor when I make the change. So I'm gonna place those right back there by the candle. And I'm gonna kind of pull up a few sprigs of that. You may not be able to see it, but I'm gonna kind of pull them up so that they stand up a little bit more. Okay, looks like my candle batteries are about to wear out. All right, so now I'm going to lay, place these dried blueberry garland. I just like the way they look and they just add another texture. So I think I'm just gonna place those down here and kind of string them along and then I want to hide the end of the string. So we'll bury that and we'll bury that. Pull them out a little bit more there. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to try to put in will be this wool applique pin keep. I love this, I love the colors and the texture. Let's see, let's try putting it down there. Maybe these would look cool laying over here. I think I like that better. All right, it's coming together. I like that. Okay, so now I think we need to fill in this area and that area down there. So this is gonna kind of be trial and error, I think. I will pick the wood pulp pitcher. Since we have greenery here, I think I'll put this down here and add height and a little more color on that end. I like that. And then let's see about adding one of these this is called a hog scraper candle holder. I think I'll put that there. Move those over, place that there. Put in my timer candle. Fuzz all over it. Place that there. And I think we'll put the other one in also over here. Candle on it. And I think we're going to call that done. What do you think? I'll have to live with this for a little while, kind of look at it. 
I like to take photos. Actually, I think I'm gonna move this down a little bit. And adjust. I like to take a photo and then kind of examine it, you know, look at it and see if I wanna change things because it gives you a different perspective. So I think that's our new end of spring centerpiece.